Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. We're going to continue with our Horde playthrough today and I have completely forgotten where we were and what we were doing. Uh, let's have a look army wise. We are full. We've got a few newbies but not many. It's pretty good but the majority of our army is made up of T5 heavy infantry which is what we want. So we'll carry on with this today. Uh, just thinking what we want to do. Uh, we're currently with the Batanians, but I don't think they're at war with anyone. So that's a bit pointless. There is somebody at war with the Volandians, though, so we'll pop down and have a look who that is. In fact, we can do it from this screen here. Uh, Sturgia. So we could join the Sturgians and fight the Volandians. And continue fighting the Volandians, rather. So let's head down that way and see if we can't get involved in those battles. I might do this hideout real quick, just for the um, reputation gain from the local lords. Uh, somebody mentioned in the comments yesterday that the quality of the video wasn't great, not as usual, and there was a bit of stuttering. I did take a look back at the footage, and you are absolutely correct, it's not of the quality I'd normally expect. I didn't change anything in my settings. Um, there was an update to OBS waiting, so I've done that. Outside of that, I'm not really sure what else to do. Because I didn't change any settings for, for me to sort of switch back. But I've tweaked my GPU settings a little bit. To see if I can free up a bit of space to get stuff done. And we'll see how we get on with that. But if it continues being a bit laggy and the quality dropping, I might have to uh, look at an alternative. I might have to lower the settings a little bit. Because at the minute we're running it on, everything's on high. So it might be that I have to drop the settings a little bit. Which will be weird, because I've owned this game since it was in early access, and I've never had to drop the settings on it. But we'll see. We'll see how we get on with today's recording. Obviously last time round we got the perk for... Um, every hideout that we clear, we get reputation with the nearby nobles. So that's what we're looking for here. Run while you can. And obviously taking an opportunity to train up the companions is always a good idea. Folded. <laughs> Should have no problem folding these guys in close combat. We are going to have to hit that F4 real quick, though. <laughs> Job's an adequate one. Not interested in prisoners. We'll scoop the loot though. And then we'll head down to find somebody to fight for. Eighteen out of twenty one. We should have enough stuff in our inventory to get these guys leveled up. I'm not gonna do the same thing I did last time and accidentally move across all of my stuff. That was dumb. That should be everybody ready to level up. Yeah, there we go. So all of you guys become Sturgeons. Sturgeons. Sturgeon Warriors, sorry. 6267. Okay, so there's another 20 that need leveling up. See if we've got enough gear to get them leveled up. 
It would be good having them leveled up. Shoot. Wrong button. So we need five line breakers. Oh no. They all become soldiers before we get to pick what they become. And again, we'll use what little gear we've got as a way of getting them upgraded. A little bit sparse on food variety as well. Oh, we're not done the army yet. Awesome. I wonder if we've got enough to uh, get them clicked over to tier 4. That would be nice. Oops. I put a couple of extra pieces in there. Right, so we need five line breakers anyway, just to balance it out. So one, two, three, four, five, and then five of those, five of those, five of those, five of those. One, two, three of those, one, two, three of those. We've got perfect split. We might as well expend the rest of that armor to get as many as we can into tier five. It's just the armor, isn't it? I now have a phobia of accidentally throwing all my stuff away. 16 of them got leveled up. It's about half. That's not bad. Makes our army much, much, much stronger. I uh, don't need to go in there. As much as our food variety is low, it's not... Oh, does that say penalty? Oh, footman and horses weather penalty, that's fine. Let's find ourselves a sturgeon. Our guys are under attack. How's that a thing? Ooh, just taking Marinath off of the... They're going to win that. Um, right, so I need to leave. Italians, confirm. Ooh. How are the Sturgeons actually doing? Because that's a good win for them. So they've lost one of their areas to the Northern Empire. They've taken one from the Northern Empire. And now they've taken one from the Batanians. Two castles and a town from the Batanians. So actually thinking about it, the Valandians are not in the best of conditions. The Azurai seems to be spreading quite good as well. The only guys that seem to be really struggling is the Southern Empire, which, thinking about it, who were they at war with? The Kazate and the Western Empire. I imagine that's the Western Empire sieging their town. Hmm. From a balancing perspective, we'd actually be better off joining the Southern Empire. So if their war's still ongoing, we might pop down and see what trouble we can get into. Durhurt is their leader. He tends to run around with a very large amount of crossbowmen. Which is not, not as many as I would have expected. Wait for him to get into the woods. We don't want to engage him outside the woods. I'm not auto-resolving, so I don't care about the woods. I don't know what I was thinking there. Um, what's he got? Well, 36 of his guys are battalion volunteers, so he's heavily outmatched.
Let's go. Under my orders. Hmm. Normally, I would be positively giddy getting this map. Because I'd set up my infantry block in the bridge, set up my archers on the hillsides, and let them pound away until the end of time. For this particular army that we're facing, I don't think that is a good idea. And not only that, I don't think for a second they're going to charge us. They're going to try and find some way of running into the hills or something. They're not going to not going to come across this bitch. So even if we set up here to hold them here, they're not coming here anyway. Missed. 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 I didn't know. Oh, I might even take this horse just so I can take care of that other horse archer. Show you how it's done, fella. Horse in a while. I feel super speedy. So I'll use this to showcase how much more effective this method of using these guys can be. Oh, out of bounds. Okay. Forward! Make a shield wall! Footman! Move! Form a shield wall! Footman! Forward! Move! Move! Soldier! Forward! Forward! Move! Ah, a highborn got speared. Bless him. So, because there's very little cavalry, we're not actually bothered about... Infantry! Four deep should do it. Move! Um, yeah, because there's not really that much cavalry, we're not bothered about being flanked. Infantry! So, we're gonna go four deep. Just because that's still going to give the line breakers enough protection, I hope. Infantry, move! Infantry, move! Infantry, forward! forward. Can move these guys a little bit further this way. Move! Ah, damn it, my mouse hit my keyboard. Oh, you did. Oh, he took both of them like a champ. Bless you, lad. He ran off right to the back. Wait, was that him? I've lost sight of him now. Yeah, that was him, he's there. Oh, in the shield. It hurts down.
suck it. Get involved. Say that, there's not much to left to get involved in. That was kind of a textbook example of how to use this army. I mean, one dead. That's fine. Um, oh, blah, blah, blah. You're my prisoner because I'm going to donate him to the nearest castle. Uh, do I take your troops? Yeah, I'm going to take all of these guys as well. Six upgrades to make. Kajong, Kajong. Done. Done. Take your gear. Oh, we've got enough to upgrade our men. We'll do that in a minute. So now we need to come back this way. We need to get back to Maranath so we can drop off these prisoners. To donate him to this town. So to the keep. Don't not donate troops, sorry. Go to the dungeon, donate prisoners, and then ka ching 46 influence. Look at that. Cash money. So if it was any of the other lords, I'd let them go. And um, because it's their leader, I won't. Right, what have they got? What well, they're actually physically comprised of. I don't know if we're in a position where we can take that kind of fight on, if I'm honest. You're recruiting? Bless you. Come here. Oh, we forgot to sell the prisoners. I'm wondering why I'm moving so slow. So, Tavern District, 3,400. Ooh, can we have any more companions yet? Nope. Tier 5 will give us another companion, and I think we're close to... No, we're not. We're miles away. Oh, not that far away. So what's this? Uh... I want that one. I want that one. Ooh. I'll give him Swift Strike. It's always handy to be able to swing faster. And he's got a focus point, so I'll pop that in Steward. Seems counterproductive because we need him to level other things up so he can get points enough to keep leveling Steward up. So the next point might have to go somewhere else. And then the ball's got a point as well. And he can take... The endurance attribute. And he's got a focus point, and he can put that in mm, endurance. Uh, athletics, rather. Done. Right, leave. Now we need to spend our gear. What do we need? Nine k or something like that. Christ. I'm going to get seven from that. Eight. There we go. That is everybody. Tier five. Joyous. So this army now is pretty much as strong as it can get. The only way we can get stronger is by getting more troops. I really want to fight this guy. I don't know why I've just got this urge to fight him. 72 footmen, 65 spearmen, which is the next level up from footmen, I believe. 29 recruits. It's like 150 of his troops are just fodder. And the rest of it, he doesn't really have a lot of anything. I think we could win that. Like, genuinely. 
appreciate we're massively outnumbered, but I, I think we could win that. Let's just double check. Oops. Yes, yeah, so the majority's troops are t these guys, the tier 2 troops. No throwing weapons, just a sword and a spear. We don't have any cavalry, so the spear's no threat to us. And then these guys, again, sword, spear, shield. N not really of any threat to us. He doesn't seem to have a large volume of archers. 22. And 11 cavalry. So you've got 214. The only thing that might hurt us is... The fact that their infantry outnumbers ours considerably. So if we can't box them in, if they get to go around our flanks, we'd be screwed. Because then it's like, it doesn't matter how, what tier your infantry is. Two to three versus one will never work out in your favour. So... In a village as well, that's not the best place to be fighting. I prefer to fight him in a field or something. Again, might work in our favour, breaking up the, the troops. Tell you what, we'll drop an F5. We might lose our army here, but I'm pretty confident that we can win. He's able to field 247 on his own. I mean, colour me impressed. Let's go. Footman! Attack! No, not attack. Move! Dumbass. Infantry! Forward! Now they may just steamroll us because they've they've got the numbers. But I hope they do. Yeah, they are. Let them come through. Let them come through. Now. the flanks. broken already. I got him right on the cusp of escape then, that was hilarious. Come on, matey boy. <laughs> I mean, I give you 10 out of 10 for effort, that was pretty impressive. I just realised my mic is default was quite loud, apologies about that. We lost three. go he's no threat to me anymore um take prisoners we're close to maranath so we can just drop him off uh not interested in taking the troops Ooh, shiny 
take all that loot. To be fair, with that loot we just collected, we probably got enough to um, level up our replacements, but I don't think we're in a position to need them just yet. Ooh. Ooh. That's rough. Thousand dudes. What's the castle got? Two ninety. It's got enough to take the castle at least. Not enough to fight this blood though. I don't know why they just didn't attack the siege camp. That's what I would have done. Oh, prisoners! I need to drop these prisoners off. I think he might be heading towards Marinoth. Yeah, he is. So we got um, two hundred and two for the garrison. There are there is no militia. Uh, so that would make us three hundred and sixty-seven. Could three hundred and sixty-seven people hold it against nine hundred and sixty-nine? Possibly. Do I want to risk all my men on that eventuality? Not really. Yeah, that looks a lot like not my fight. We'll go this way around so we're not getting caught by the uh, thousand strong army. We've done that before in Duncastle sieges where we're massively outnumbered and ended up sacrificing all of our men because the garrison and militia weren't stocked well enough. I'm not doing that now. This is not my kingdom. It's not my town that's being taken. 803 defending. Oh, I'm not sure you've got enough bodies, brother. I'll take care of this guy, though. Come here, buddy. What you got? 100 infantry, 42 ranged, and 9 cavalry. Might auto resolve this one. If it's in forest, I'll auto resolve. Just to see what it's, it thinks will happen. Yours is not a fate. Yeah, forest battle. Right, I'm going to drop an F5 just in case this goes horribly wrong. Oh, that's not bad. I lost three when I did it myself. Keep spamming that charm score. Done. Yes. Take all the things. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. There's a big battle coming. I can smell it. Alright, these guys, once they're done here, they're going to head over. But I don't I don't know if they've got enough to... They've got enough to take Asta, absolutely. I don't think these guys have got enough to take this. They would have to starve out first. But it doesn't look like that's what they're doing. Hmm. So all I can do, really, to help with the war effort at the minute is support by attacking the satellite parties. So who's attacking this castle here? Not that one. Hmm. Don't think we'll be much help there. We got a battering ram. He has. Maybe. I'm not wasting my army on a maybe. There's a target of our size, look. What do you want, stranger? What's he got? Oh wow. Almost half of his army's volunteers. Under my orders. I was just going to auto resolve. But I can appreciate it's, it's boring to watch just auto resolving everything. But I also don't think there's much point in us fighting this. 
They're running away. Ugh. Draw on my flank! So, I hope from today's video at least you've seen how powerful this volume of heavy infantry can be. Like, once you get stuck into the thick of it, it's difficult to stop them from rolling. Especially if they've boxed you in. And it's their versatility as well. So, archers, not a problem. We just hide behind our shields until everybody's run out of ammo. Horses, not a problem. We've got spears. Other infantry, not a problem. We've got our line breakers for that exact purpose. Like, the only time you will come into real problems and you'll suffer like great losses is when you're looking at fighting other Sturgeons or you're fighting uh, Imperials. Because I have to give it to the Imperials, they, they do put up quite the fight. They are legitimately running away. I am trying to fight you. Oop, hello. You woke up, lads. It forward! Forward! So the reason I'm separating out group one... Infantry, attack! Is they're going to attack from that angle. We're going to keep following this road down. And we're going to come at them from this angle. Me in group two. Come oh, buddy, don't be shy. Infantry! Move! Yeet! Time that a little bit because uh, group one's gonna hit a little bit before group two. Chopperty, chopperty, you're now my property. of chaos. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> Look at it. Beautiful. They're in the trees. Just got jumped. What's this support party? I don't understand what this is. They're obviously my men. go and get another army and come back so I can kick his ass again. Um, are we worried about numbers yet? Not really. Uh, I would like to get out of enemy territory if I can. Oh, 
Dun -dum -dun -dum. So I think of what to do next. I can get back to the castle. No, I need a town. I can go back to Varchek and sell the prisoners. I can't go back there. In fact, I could go to Sienon. That's a, as much as it's not a Sturgeon settlement, it is a friendly one. Who's getting points? The scholar's getting points. Good lad. Seven districts. Sell the prisoners. The roguery experience you get from selling prisoners is so poor, it's not even funny. Um... Oh, actually, we're close to Sturgeon Lands. Can we get some Sea Raiders? Wonder. This is a top up. We're only seven dudes down. So despite all the battles that we've fought and all the loot that we've got, we're only seven dudes down. Uh, speaking of loot... One, two, four... Oh, we can go up to 70 now, can we? Seven, eight, nine. Done. Leave. Uh, I think we're probably over on food and livestock, if I'm being honest. We'll chop all the livestock into meat, though, because it's more useful to us. It's fine. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Yeah. Okay, so we've got that's going into there. Let's go again. Oh, apply, yep. We're just abusing the mechanic of being able to donate gear to upgrade our troops just to refill what we lost from the last battles. Fully appreciate and respect it's a bit of a boring process, but it beats the snot about having to run around villages and try and fight people. Okay. Taking a respectable amount this time. Yeah, my click happy fingers. Done. Alright, so we need four on the line breaker front straight away. So one, two, three, four. Oh, we've got an odd number, have we? That'll do it. Alright, one more round of giving away stuff to upgrade troops. Wrong way around. Nope, not the wrong way around. Done. Back at full strength. Well, actually stronger, because we've uh, got a lot of stuff. And we didn't have to use any of our ranged weapons or melee weapons, which means we can now sell them. That's going to net us a nice 33k. That's good. But we've also got the banners and the excess food and stuff to sell as well. So get rid of the banners, the pottery, the tools, the hides, the clay. Don't need the hardwood. We'll get rid of half the grain. Get rid of half the fish. 
get rid of half the meat. What's that leave us with? 50 days. That's more than enough. That gives us another 19k. And then we've got horses as well. Because um, we don't need war horses because we're not doing anything with them. So, it's uh, another. Oh. He's down. We sold too much to him. Right. Play. Half the grain. Half the fish. Half the meat. Ooh. Yeah, he didn't have enough money for those. That's fine. We're still carrying a stockpile of stuff to sell. And this is what I was trying to tell you about how doing these small battles and fighting the satellite guys is much more profitable than getting involved in the big wars because the big wars equals big losses. So you might win and you might get a couple of really nice pieces of gear or whatever, but overall it's going to cost you in the long run. Keep that. That one six one seven three something like that. So we don't need those guys. We don't need these guys. We definitely don't need saddles. We could do with some more mules if you've got any. Do not. We have workhorses though. They'll do. Fifty uh, k. Right, we're done. Don't kick the snot out of this guy. I'm not carrying prisoners, am I? No. But time for one more fight before we end today's episode, so might as well be this Stop guy. Stop that, stranger. Now, remember, you'll see quite frequently that this bar at the top will now be, even if we're outnumbered, I don't know who that guy is, even if we're outnumbered, we will often have the advantage in the power. And the reason being, all of our troops, as in every single one of them, is T5. Whereas the armies that we go up against, almost half of their troops will not be T5. So it means that in the power angle of things, we will almost always have the advantage. Right, I'm going to see if I can take one of these cavalrymen down and then steal his horse. That miss. You're screwed. <laughs> that never gets unsatisfying. Like that crunch of the javelin hitting somebody as you run past. Oh, I think that's their leader. Yep. Oh. 
throw a book in it. Oof. I'll be honest, that was a little bit reckless from me. I could have uh, could have got one shot by that lance. I'm not catching up with him because my riding skills are abysmal. Fight you, coward. Is he running for the boundary? I think he is. No. Well, for those of you that don't know, blocking down blocks a lance strike. So if you see them holding their spear above their head, it's a block up. But if you hear that, see them holding their spear down in like the, the couch position, then it's a block down. Ugh. All that was somebody else got the kill anyway. More charm, more prisoners. And we didn't actually lose anybody in that one either. And scoop the loot. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. I meant to sell my prisoners. Sell. Leave. Cool. Good session today. Won quite a few fights. We're almost up to 500k. Um, probably the first session I've not lost an army in, I think. <laughs> this war with the Volandians is almost over. You can see from the top of here. When they get to 100, that's it. They're done. Um, so yeah, as much as they've taken um, Maranath back, they've lost Asta, and I think they're about to lose Carbanseth. Uh, Dungal, as it looks like, they gave up on the siege there. Which is fine. So we'll come back tomorrow and we shall continue bloodying the nose of the Volandians and just to push them out of the Batanian area. We just don't want them owning too much. They get kind of out of control if you let them go too too far too quick. So by letting the Sturgeons sort of take a few, a few bits of their land, that's fine. And as a, as a Merc, the best thing we can do is just keep taking out those small parties and making sure that they can't put together any really large high tier troops by continuously farming them basically. And we'll continue to farm them for loot. Every two or three battles, usually our nets around 100k or something like that. Between prisoners and um, food and equipment. And if I then decide to start taking the Lord's Ransom and selling them on at the, the tavern. My, my charm skills go up quite quick. We're at 186 now. We're trying to get to this one here. Camaraderie, where we'll get a plus one companion. Um, and then when we get to T5 clan, um, we'll also get another companions. We can have two more companions, which would be nice. Um, but this is kind of hard stopped at the moment. And this is kind of the problem when you get this higher level. We're level 27 now. We've got a lot of skills that are capped out. So we're struggling to get enough to, to get this bar up now. So we might have to switch to like a two-hander weapon or something for a while. Just to try and build up some sort of uh, alternate form of experience. Leadership would be a good, be a good one. But that's for when we start our own kingdom. I don't think there's anywhere that's rebelled at the moment. No, not by the looks of it. Once we've got about two mil in the bank, we'll start looking at getting our own our own kingdom set up. And if that means we have to declare war on somebody and, and take a castle, then so be it. Um, Yeah, that's that. So with that, guys, I'll leave you and I'll see you in the next one.